Yo guys, what's up? Uh, Dirty Birds getting done. Phillies game here. They uh, unfortunately lost three to nothing. Got shut out. No run support for Hamels once again. Yeah, it's, that's been happening all year. They just haven't been able to get him any runs. If he did, he'd definitely be a ten game winner. But no, he lost another game. Still nine, still nine wins on the season. And um, we're just gonna talk about the series. They just finished up their third game. So uh, lost two out of three, unfortunately, to the Marlins. But we lost the game. Uh, we lost the game, I guess, in the NL East. So now it's down to a game and a half. Mets also won the day to day game, so they're down to one or two. So it's getting tight here. Yeah, they got it. I don't know. I don't know how they could say they need nothing at the trade deadline because <laughs> now there's nothing out there. They like look what Manny Ramirez is doing. He's got uh, he's batting I think 600. He's got like I think two or three home runs already. Yeah, he's done. And I mean, good. they could use somebody like that. Uh, I don't know where they would have put him necessarily, but mm -hmm. I think him in right field would be better than Jenkins because <laughs> he Definitely. didn't hit nothing today, obviously. But first game, of course, Moyer had a uh, all right, but two. What did it, I think it was two runs, and then the rest were mostly the bullpen. Yeah. He does pretty good. He always gives them a chance to win, but they just weren't scoring any runs. Yeah, that was his first loss in 11 career starts against the Marlins. So. Not good to see that, hoping he could still dominate for us, but unfortunately he didn't do it. But we came back the next game with Kyle Kendrick, did a superb job. Yeah, Actually, shut out. Yeah, shut out. Five six, seven innings, bullpen to the rest. We were able to shut them out. And then today's game, we were hoping, day game, Cole Hamels. He did have his stuff, really. He only gave up three runs. Yeah, he had some strikeouts. He had a few strikeouts. Uh, he did pretty good. I really thought that he'd give him a chance to win, which he did. He always does. But unfortunately, um, he, again, he didn't get no runs from... And their pitcher was Volstad, some yeah, he guy tuned to. He had like a three-something ERA, which, I mean, that's not bad, but it's not really yeah. accurate. I mean, um, he really... Uh, wasn't really that dominant. We just yeah. couldn't seem to get any hits. A lot of they hit a lot of ground balls. It seemed like. Um, yeah, but hopefully we. I don't know who we're playing. Uh, uh, I'm not sure who we're playing next. But either way, we got to come out and win like two or three. So hopefully, so can get it done. Marlins and Mets can't get it done. Yeah, we need uh, them to start losing. Um, of course, no one like the Mets are playing. They won today, but they they haven't been playing that good. They lost last night, so hopefully they can uh, get back their losing ways. Yep. Billy Wagner can get back to blowing saves, <laughs> but who knows? Cause he's kind of hurt right now. But see what happens with that. Hopefully the Marlins uh, self-destruct uh, as it goes down to the final uh, month of the season. All right, that'll wrap us up live from Philadelphia. We'll have more videos. Definitely coming up. Uh, Phillies, sports, Eagles, Falcons, NFL. Training, for, yeah, for season. Yeah, Cardinals, Saints tonight on ESPN. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants to watch that at 8 o'clock, but that's on tonight. So, you know, football is getting close. Definitely. And uh, we'll definitely be uh, focusing on NFL talking about another couple weeks. So just watch out for that. And uh, see you guys later.